What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the scoped salvo augment in chapter 4 season 4. This augment was added last season but we have a bunch of new weapons that are affected by the augment this season so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be letting you know if I think scoped salvo is worth using. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this augment and if you do enjoy this video find it helpful or informative. Remember to give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more. So as far as like what this augment does is you gain 15% more damage, but you lose 15% of fire rate on scoped weapons. So with the current loot pool, this affects the Twin Mag AR, the Foundation's Mythic MK7, the Thermal DMR, the Scoped SMG, the Burst, and the Suppressed Sniper. And with every weapon in the game, this results in a slight loss in DPS, which isn't great, but a lot of people view DPS as like the end-all be-all stat, and I don't really think it should be. Like a lot of people look at that and they're like, oh, worst damage per second, why would I ever use this? And the reason why the DPS stat can kind of be misleading is because it assumes ideal conditions, you know? If two players stand out in the open and just ex exchange shots in the weapon's ideal range, that's when the DPS stat is relevant. But one, few players, or if any, none, have perfect accuracy. You're going to miss shots from time to time. Also, most players aren't just going to stand out there in the open and let you shoot at them. And so being able to get a lot of damage in a short time span is very important in Fortnite. And that's why pump shotguns have often been like the meta weapons, despite the high fire rate shotguns having a better DPS. So that's just kind of my you know, slight rant on that. There also is a similar perk for pistols, but in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the uh, scoped weapons. So the Twin Mag AR actually fits this augment a lot better than what the MK Alpha did last season. Your fire rate goes from 5.4 uh, to 4.59. And when we talk about the fire rate stat, this is how many shots the weapon will shoot per second. So it goes from 5.4 to 4.59 which is still higher than the red eye, but your damage ends up being better than the red eye's damage. You get 42 to the body with the legendary version and scoped salvo. And then with the legendary red eye would get 40 body damage. And the headshot on the twin mag IR with scoped salvo, the legendary version is 70 damage. And with how common the radio towers are or how important the radio towers are this season, I feel like it's very common to just get a high rarity legendary twin mag every game. So if you have the legendary twin mag AR and scoped salvo, that's 70 headshot damage and you still have a higher fire rate than that of the red eye. It's very brutal. Another thing that's worth mentioning with the twin mag AR, I think, is it has a lower magazine size. That's kind of one of the drawbacks to the weapon is it has a low mag size, but it reloads fast every other reload. Uh, but scoped salvo will allow you to get the most damage out of each mag. So if that like lower mag size has been something that's been bothering you, uh, that scoped salvo could help with that. Another thing that scoped salvo could help with is I've gotten a lot of comments from players since the start of season four saying the twin mags AR, like the recoil of it feels way too difficult to control. They just don't have a good feel for the weapon at all. So if you have been very strug like struggling to maintain the recoil or manage the recoil of the twin mag AR, I definitely would recommend giving scoped salvo a try. You're going to get a lower fire rate, but you're going to get higher damage and you know, you're going to have an easier to control weapon. So that might end up being better for you. Like I said at the top of the video, you lose DPS here. You lose a minor bit of DPS. It's a negligible amount. Being able to put out 70 headshot damage is huge in fights. I think when you and the opponent are both kind of playing off of cover or play or like head glitching off of cover, and this will happen a decent amount in like zero build standoffs or even in build mode if you're in your like base and the, the opponent is in theirs, if they're in bunkers and zero build. There's a lot of situations where you're showing a little bit of yourself, like maybe only head and the opponent is as well. And when that is the case, being able to tag for 70 damage is a lot. In zero build, that's going to be all of their overshield and 20, you know, actual shield. And if you hit them more than once on that, like they're going to go down very quickly. It's enough damage for you to potentially push off of. And that is like one of the uh, benefits of scoped salvo on the twin mag AR. That just 70 headshot damage can be a game changer in a lot of situations. So I would recommend trying it out. I know a lot of people that love it. 
personally, I, I think I prefer the Twin Mag AR without scoped salvo. I felt like I was just hitting shots better, especially when beaming people out of the air. I felt like I was much better without scoped salvo than with. And that matters a decent amount this season with shockwaves and the rocket ram and like, you know, rifts, launch pads, all that stuff in the game. There's a decent amount of times you're shooting people that are in the air. And I felt like I was hitting shots better without scoped salvo. But if you're someone that's been struggling with the Twin Mag AR or even not, I would recommend trying it because it makes it feel more similar to the red eye and that you know 70 headshot damage can be a very impactful like change to the weapon so now you're probably asking yourself how does this affect the burst smg because you it might sound great for the twin magar i think it's really good i, I would recommend trying it on the twin magar but if you're someone who's been using the burst sub you might be like oh i don't want to do that because it's going to affect the burst sub and that's how i felt Initially, when the season started and a lot of people were telling me to try scope salvo with the twin mag air, I was like, well, I've been using the burst sub. I don't want to mess that up. And I was expecting to really hate this. I was expecting like burst sub. I'm using it as a close range spray weapon. Why would I want to lower my fire rate? That just doesn't sound great. But the scoped SMG's fire rate goes from 11.43 to 9.71. It gains about two damage on body shots and about three damage on headshots per rarity. But I really didn't notice much of a difference, good or bad, using scoped salvo with the burst SMG. It was just, it was there, you know, like it still basically did the same thing. I felt like with like the MK Alpha last season, it was like a very distinct, noticeable change. And with the Twin Mag AR this season, I, I feel like that fire rate difference is very noticeable. But for whatever reason, I guess maybe just because it's a burst weapon, I didn't really notice it as much on the burst SMG. I didn't love it with the burst SMG. I didn't hate it with the burst SMG. It was just there. So I really wouldn't recommend using or not using this augment uh, if you're going to be using the burst SMG. Like I wouldn't make my decision of this augment based on the burst sub, I guess. Now we get to the mythic MK7. And I think this is a really interesting one because it felt fine with scoped salvo. I won several games, but it also kind of just felt like it lost what made the mythic MK7 so insane. Your fire rate goes from 10 to 8.5 which is still higher than the MK Alpha from last season, season, which had a 7 fire rate, you gain about 3 damage on the body shots and about 5 damage on headshots when you get scoped salvo on the mythic. Um, and this damage is basically the same as what the MK Alpha had last season. So MK7 with scoped salvo goes from a weaker high fire rate AR to just like a slightly better MK Alpha to an extent. Uh, and it does feel a lot better at very long range to use this weapon with scope salvo, but it doesn't feel as ridiculous and like close to medium range because of that lower fire rate. It turns the mythic into more of just like a versatile AR, but it's not insane. And you guys know the mythic MK7. It is insane at close and medium range. So personally, I don't think it's the end of the world to use scope salvo on the mythic MK7. Like I said, I thought it was fine. I, I won several games with it. It was no problem, but... Like, if I'm using the Mythic, it's for that insane close to medium range just, like, melting, you know? And I, I feel like you lost that upside and you kind of gained some just, like, versatility and long range potential. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to run Scoped Salvo with this. I don't think it's insanely good or bad. But personally, I, I think I like the MK7 more without it because you do have that ridiculous fire rate. And I don't have the... I don't have much of a difficulty using the MK7 at long range. If you just can't do that long range with the high fire rate then maybe you know this would be something you want to do but personally I, I think keep the mythic mk7 you know mythic and, and make it insane at close to medium range i think you're better off with that so finally we have the thermal dmr and the suppressed sniper the sniper gains about 15 body shot damage and has no downside at all since it has only one bullet in the mag anyways uh, you know, a little bit of extra body damage on the sniper may or may not change the outcome of the game. I think the only downside you really have here is if you also have the sniper surplus augment and then you get that augment to proc and you get the extra shot, maybe your extra shot won't be as fast if you're using scoped salvo as it was before. But I feel like that's an incredibly niche circumstance. Um, and so if you like the sniper, more body damage, I don't think it's going to hurt you. I don't think it's really going to like make your game either. You know, if you're relying on sniper body shots, uh, it's not the ideal way to use a weapon. It could be great for sure, like tagging for 100 plus body. But it's like tagging for like 115 versus 130, I don't think is like a game changing amount of damage on the sniper. So now we come to the thermal DMR. Your fire rate goes from 5 to 4.25, and you gain about 4 to 5 body damage and about 10 headshot damage 
uh, when you're using scope salvo. And I'm not a fan of the thermal DMR whatsoever. Uh, it just never even felt decent to me. Like the Cobra DMR and the just regular DMR, I was never the biggest fan of those weapons, but I could use those weapons just fine, like no problem. The thermal DMR just feels weird to me. I feel like it doesn't go where like the crosshair says the bullet goes or something like that. I don't know. I just never feel right using this weapon. So I can't really give useful advice on whether or not scoped salvo is worth using with the thermal DMR because I don't like the thermal DMR and I don't have a good, you know, I don't have experience with the thermal DMR. So it's tough to compare to, you know what I mean? Last season when I tried it, I did enjoy the thermal DMR more with scoped salvo than without. Uh, the added damage was nice, and I felt like the lack of fire rate wasn't the biggest deal because when I just full spam the thermal DMR, it feels like my bullets aren't going where they're supposed to be going anyways. But like I said, I've just never had a good feel for this weapon, so I don't think my perspective on whether or not scoped salvo is good with it really matters. There's people out there that, you know, like the weapon and use it a lot, and if you're one of them, like my opinion on how scoped salvo feels probably shouldn't matter to you because I don't use the weapon, so... Overall, I, I think it can be really good with the Twin Mag AR. It makes it a little bit more like the Red Eye. That headshot damage is nasty, and like the Twin Mag AR already dominates long range, and this just does that to an even greater degree. If you're going to be using two weapons um, and you need that AR as a potential spray weapon, I would maybe not be as inclined to run it, but I would definitely recommend trying Scoped Salvo out on the Twin Mag AR and, and seeing if you like that, especially if you are someone who's been struggling with the recoil. The Burst SMG is just kind of there. I don't think it was that big of a downside to have it. I don't think it was that big of an upside either. The Mythic MK7 felt a little bit more versatile and easier to use at long range but I, I would rather not have it that way we have that insanely melty you know fast AR what the mythic mk7 is and then for the sniper and the thermal dmr i think it's good and worth using but my i don't have the you know most experience with the thermal dmr like i said if you guys enjoyed this video find it helpful and informative remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more comment down below what you think of scope salvo this season i think it definitely has a lot more potential than last last i didn't think it was very good but on the twin mag ar that you get you know you get something special there um but i will see you guys in the video or in the next video i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching